I want the AC going. All right. So here's what's going on. Right. Why are you recording those on my house? <laughs> you the one that didn't put it on. <laughs> okay. Clinton didn't remind you. All right. So here's what's going on. Dandy Off-Road merch finally available. We're going to put links in the description on where you can get your very own Dandy Off-Road tee. Would you look at that? Here's the back of it. Mash on Dandy Off-Road crew. I would totally support this matching in the dander. I really like it. Again, link in the description or you can just visit dandyoffroad.com. It's going to be the first thing that pops up when you get there. I don't want there to be any confusion. Look at that. Woo! And it's our signature colors. And a little bit of info about these shirts that might interest you. These shirts are solar powered. They are organic. They are reclaimed. Recycled, recyclable, freeze-dried, raised on a cruelty-free farm where no not one snowy plover nor one blade of milk grass was harmed during the making of these shirts because we love the environment. Ease can be used as a parachute if you need to jump or exit your vehicle quickly. Once you land, you can then fashion it into a pillow or a blanket. You should get two. A blanket and a pillow. You should definitely get two, I'm thinking. There's so many other uses, so why don't you guys buy one and then show me how you use it. Thank you guys ahead of time and uh, don't forget, get your dandy off road. First shirt, many more to come. First run, lots of other stuff to come. But take a look. Get them at dandyoffroad.com. So this is gonna be a random day of, uh, well here, let me show you. Look at this baby. This is pretty much a twin to our car. Let's see, let's take a look at it. All right. We have Mr. Mr. Hoover here. All right, so we have Clint here. Clint is my nephew. Well, that's the easiest way to put easiest it. Way. Pretty, it's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. So Clint is my nephew, and what we're doing is he has the twin car to the car we just bought. He has the last razor. This year there have been, I want to say, three things gone extinct in 2021, <laughs> and this is one of them right here. All right, we're gonna unload this thing, put it in the garage, and start uh, the wiring. You want to take these bits with you? covered this uh I know we've covered putting a cage on a razor before this is the twin car to our, to our four seater it doesn't have the, the trailing arms on aren't, aren't quite as rusted up yet but they will be soon so what we're gonna do here is uh let's see here's where we're at we're pretty close on these guys uh so we're gonna get them closer and throw one bolt so we're gonna throw one bolt in all six corners I call it uh just loosely just so it stays in place and then the trick is getting that all the way down where it belongs. And what we're gonna do for that is jack up the car from the center with the floor jack. So let's do that right now. So all right, so here's what we're doing uh, with this deal. Uh, we have... Uh, we have a bolt here, right? We have bolts here started. Uh, and then we're off this far here, and we're off a little bit that far there. Actually, the, the middle's not that bad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find a good spot. Are you under a cross beam or something? Yeah. We're gonna find a good spot down here, and we're gonna jack the car up in the middle. And we should see this flex a little bit at least. At least relieve some tension off the car, you know? way we put some more oh yeah I can see it moving oh yeah look at that look at that boom even the center right yep man look at that oh this one's done this one over here you slide a bolt in you're done over here nice man you know those dudes that comment on the YouTube videos because <laughs> uh, the, re the reason I'm gonna say this I'm gonna admit to something here me, uh, Rob, Dean, Danny, I mean, a 
couple thousand pounds worth of dudes, right? <laughs> we're all we're all well over 200 pounds. We're out here with a two seater 2016 Razor, Travis's. Oh, Travis was there too. He's well over. He's over two. So we're all out here fighting with this cage to get it on. And some dude on the comments, he's like, "Jack it up in the middle of the car." You just witnessed <laughs> how valuable that comment was. So uh, for anyone watching right now, uh, please comment below. I mean, look at that. That, I mean, so close here. Uh, that's, we'll knock this out in two minutes. So I, I got to lend a hand. We only got one camera guy and two helpers. So we'll be back. All right, here we go. So what'd you think? We knocked it. We're done. So really just, I wish I would have got more on video, but we jacked this thing up. And once we did, all four corners pretty much lined up here. Uh, then we just had to flex this down a little bit. I didn't get it on video, but basically we just used, we drove some screwdrivers in the hole, you know, starting with smaller ones, worked our way up until we used this guy here. And once we got to that guy, drive it in and put the bolts in and we're done. Now, what do we, what's next prior, what's priority? Next priority is what? I guess these. Okay, lighted whips, 5150 light lighted whips. We gotta figure out how these are wired. So check this out. Uh, so we just need to confirm Clint was having some issues with uh, getting the switch wired up and we just wanted to make sure we didn't have a problem with the, with the lights. So what we did here is we went straight to the controller for the 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50, 50 lights. <laughs> lights. And uh, I took my power probe and boom, they work. So we, just, we know we just have an issue with the wiring on the switch. But we're gonna come back to that because we're gonna do something else right now. So let's go do this. So what are we doing right now? We're gonna load this car up right here. Okay. We're gonna take it down to Clausen's, our local dealership here in Fresnesburg. Yeah. And they're gonna put it on display. Oh, right on. Yeah, so they can show. You know, they want a car in there that ha already has radios in it, pompers, stuff like that. Just so they can show people, you know, kind of the idea of what's going on. I didn't tell you that? No. Oh, okay. That's what's going down. I like it. So So we couldn't, uh, we can't get this car as it sets on our uh, trailer because you know, look, it's got, uh, it's got the butt's too fat. So Rob came and rescued us. <laughs> Rob's gonna get us there. Yep. Would you look at that? Would you look at it? <laughs> it's amazing on there from a distance, especially. You can't see that it has some miles. And then look at this. We're at twins, but you can definitely see what was what was the difference. So uh, our car has a few more miles, only a couple hundred or so, but you can already see that the springs have uh, the springs have they get a little sag to them. I'm gonna have to send this over to Ned. Look at that. Seven nine. Yeah. Yeah. Nine point one. Yeah. Look at that. We're gonna head over to Clawson real quick, drop this off for display. They just wanna see a car that has radios, poppers, stuff like that, wheels, tires. And we're gonna leave these guys in here to cool down and rest, and then we're gonna come back, come back and figure out the wiring on those 5150 whips. It's amazing how much in a short period of time these things sag, look at that. You can see it in the shock shaft, shock shaft? In the shock shaft as well. All right. Get all your stuff. All of it. Awesome. <laughs> Here we go.
How's it going, man? All right, we made it over to Claussen's and we're gonna unload this thing. Rob is killing it with the yeah. strap. He's, clear. Up, he's so organized, look at this. That's a good idea, I gotta get a bag. I have a bunch of those bags though. Keep finding uses for them. this thing here and get out of here. Oh, look who's here. What are you doing here? What am I? I'm looking at this car. I'm trying to um, figure out why someone would do all this to their car. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Seems like ridiculous to me. Look at this, sir. You did that. I'm just kidding. I didn't do it, actually. That's you on that side. You were driving, at, you were riding as a passenger and you let the door fly open. This is true. Yeah. All right, oh, we're I leaving. I gotta get food. Okay, I kind of forgot where we left off. We were uh, getting the cage in place. And uh, what we did, we got it in place. We got a bolt, one bolt in each corner with a nut all the way around. Then we were able to jack the car up from the center and get these bolts in. And then next we started on the wiring. Clint wanted to like drill holes through this back firewall and just stick the... <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> anyway, so <laughs> what we really did is we got the wiring straightened out, the wiring harness itself. We had it, it actually had a pop fuse. Not sure, you know, what happened there. Whatever. So we found we had a pop fuse. We got it wired up correctly. Uh, it now puts out juice where it needs to. Needs to put out juice. Um, and then uh, we tested it out, and it and it. Powers everything up, so we got to connect that to the battery. We got to connect this to this controller right here. And but currently, what we're doing is we're running these cables here, these extended extension cables for the lighter whips. I gotta say, the 5150 stuff, it's uh, it's a different level. Normally, when you get <coughs> normally when you buy some whips, you get like a, I don't know, you get the whips right in a base. Then you gotta buy. Then you gotta buy. You know, the relay and the button and, and the wire and all that stuff. Well, that's not the case with this. Is it? What did it come with? I'm just saying stuff. I don't even know. It, really with just the whips. it came with the Bluetooth controller, the whips, and the extensions. Okay. Yeah, that, that, I mean, that's quite a bit. Yeah. These threaded extensions that go into this controller, which, what did I do with it? This controller, which has these threaded connectors. Not, why is there four? I don't know. That is a good question. What do they say? More right and left. There's two for right, two for left. Oh, I guess you can run four. I guess, I guess you run four. I don't know. Four lighted whips off of this controller. Anyway, that's the controller. Here's the extensions with the you know threaded connectors on each end. Uh, here's the bases. And what we're doing right now is Clint doesn't care about this. Okay, so we're running this cable down, and uh, we're gonna tidy this up a little bit behind the. Behind the cage here, down along the back fire of the firewall, the back firewall. I guess you can call that a firewall that's in between the engine and the car. Yep. And on this side, behind the shield, the heat shield. And then it's going to pop out here, like so. We're going to put the controller probably over in this area, I would guess. And then the um, controller will connect to the output of the wiring harness. So here's the wiring harness right here. Those, like I said, those will connect to the battery. Those power cables right there. 
this end will plug into the controller. This cable can probably be cut down a little bit. This end goes all the way up, goes through the tunnel, uh, comes out the front of the car, goes along the front of the firewall, the front, what's the front wire? firewall called? <laughs> there's no engine up there, but there's a radiator. Firewall. Okay, we're gonna call it a firewall. It goes along the front of the firewall, goes through the grommet, Right through the center of the grommet and sticks out right here and then we have a 51 switch right here. Look at that. Nice. 51 switch. 5150 lighted whips. And while we're on that, uh, 5150 lighted whips was generous enough to donate some of these that were given away at the Friends of Oceano Dunes fundraiser. So that was kind of cool. Along with Evo and some other people. Anyway, that's what's going down. Looking good. Yeah, All right. So here's what's going on. Uh, Why are you recording without my hand? <laughs> you the one didn't put it on. <laughs> okay. Clinton didn't remind you. All right. So here's what's going on. We are wiring this. Come and look at it. It's... Yeah, I'm here. Who's on the phone? All right. So, hey, Chris. Yo. You're you're live on the YouTube's. Not live, oh, but man. you know what I mean. We're recording. We're recording. Just oh, now. Danny, we, we just now started. So there's the relay. We mounted the relay. We're going to show them. Hang on a second. We're going to show them real quick what's going down. We mounted the relay right there. We shortened up these and put smaller ring terminals on them. And they're going to go something kind of like this deal here. And, uh, yeah. So that's what's going on. So I'm not sure where we were, but we have Chris from Blind TV YouTube. Hi. Right here. I can't see. Exactly. And what we're doing is we're wiring this, the 5150 whips up. So we mounted the relay right here, right there. Uh, I put new ring terminals on the ends here. And we're going to have, uh, um, Clint's going to tie those on right there. I just asked you a question though. Are those terminals hot when you solder them? Yeah. So that's my finger. <laughs> <laughs> so don't touch them. Oh yeah, I need a lighter. I need to melt that heat shrink to me. Okay, we're kind of losing momentum here, but <laughs> we gotta, we're going to put some heat shrink tube on this because, um, you know, that's how I, I am. Yeah, even though I forgot to put one over here. Clint's okay with that. Whatever. It's just <laughs> right. the ground, so. Yeah, it's just the ground. It'll help. All right, yeah. It'll help ground if there's more. Yeah. Closest to touch. So as long as it hits the ground, we're good. So, now we're going to put this controller in. So, I mean, even if, you're, if you were here, you couldn't see this, but... I'll explain it to you. We're putting this 5150 whips controller in. Alright, where are you putting it? Uh, you know on the Razor the, where the battery book sits under the seat? Yeah. There's that, I don't know what the hole's for. You know how there's that big hole next to it? To close Alright, that's for accessories and stuff, yeah. Okay, well that's good because that's where we're putting it. <laughs> Do you have 5150 whips? You could, all you guys do is see they're outside my parade. I have what uh, Danny donated uh, to the cause. That's what I'm running. But you high dollar dude, it's got the 5150s. Well, my first set were outlaw, and they didn't last very long. The trees tore them up good. I've, uh, I've had wonderful luck with the 5150s. The trees tore them up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, the tree branches slapped them. Really? The whips would slap the tree branches. Why were your whips by the trees? Well, and there's trails in the dunes, <laughs> and they're covered in trees. <laughs> okay. I'm just I'm messing with you because we actually did some of that in Oregon. De uh, Dean ripped his uh, Dean ripped his uh, whips off his car completely. Okay, so Danny suggested that we uh, we had all this extra. We had all this extra. He suggested that we cut it off rather than have it all like bundled in here like this like that's this car so what we're gonna do is <laughs> we're just gonna each look at this see that's nice right 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 danny hello Clint? Yeah, Forg nice. i forgot how to speak <laughs> asshole <laughs> <laughs> that's weird it's your native language it's not what your mom said <laughs> Alright, but seriously, Cut. we are heat shrinking, tubing, heat shrinking, the tubings, we're tubing, heat shrinking. 
It's getting hot. I hope the slider still works later. Let me just light a fat one. So here's what's going down. Watch, come and check it out from this side, Danny. Let's see how this does. All right, so I think we wrapped this thing up, right? Yep. So what we did is uh, we ran, here's all the wiring for the, we got some extra stuff laying in here right now, but uh, here's all the wiring for the lighted whips uh, connected. Uh, and we run here, he's gonna clean this up a little bit and zip tight, I'm sure. Um, lay this in here, get this out of the way of that. And then we went ahead and ran this power cable. I, I like this stuff, That's, what's it called again? It's called this stuff, that stuff right there. I like that stuff. Um, and it runs all the way up there and it goes to these plugs which we kind of zip tied right here temporarily then when he throws the console on he will throw the controller right here for the pumper he's going to mount the pumper in this area right here because what we've discovered the cl closer the pumper is and the shorter you keep the hose the more volume of air you get so that's what's up what do you think man we're good we're good yeah Thank he's you. ready. He's got a trip next weekend, so he's ready to go. He's got eh, just throw some bolts in, tighten some stuff up, lighted whips. Let's, don't worry about that scuff there. That wasn't us. And done. Right? Yep. So like uh, Brandy says, let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that right? With the bald eagle. Yeah, bald eagles. Eagles. Don't forget to don't don't forget to get your shirt from Dandy Off Road. Maybe she'd say that. I don't know. Yeah. But what she would say is don't forget to subscribe. Uh, click the little bell so you're reminded when we get uh, you know, I don't know how that works. when we post a new video and also comment comment below. Tell us what we did wrong right here. I'm sure you'll come up with something. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> comment. We like the comments. We like the subscribes. What do you think, Rob? I like it. We're out? Yep. Okay. Peace. See you. We're out. See ya. See ya.